Hello, and welcome to the stream. Apologies for being a bit late. I uh, just had to uh, de-stress a little bit before starting. So, a couple of uh, grounding exercises to get myself ready for this. Uh, hello, Volon, well welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping by. Um, so, yes, uh, I suppose we should really just go straight to the that one, because actually you get a web camera that looks better than, you know, the other one, because you can't see my face. You can see my hands. Magic fingers. Um, so, yes, I've um, been working on an idea that was brought up um, last week. I had to try and think then. My brain, brain's still trying to catch up with the idea of actually working. Um, any advice on the price of charcoal grade neoprene? Uh, it's not something I've looked into. I'd have to look in on that one and sort of see. What was it you were thinking of using it for? Because I'm not sure if there might be other options available. Ooh. I like the sound of that. It's all got a plug suit. <laughs> service, service! All the service! <laughs> um, yes. Um, that, that completely threw me off what I was talking about. Oh yeah, that was, that was talking about what I was doing last week. Yeah. So, um... The idea came about of drawing a picture of um, Yusan, or Ryder as Yusan, or Yusan as Ryder, one of the two. Um, and the idea of using her um, purple snake skin esque top, uh, and then it sort of morphed into Ryder wearing that, and that's what I've been sort of working on at work. Um, I've actually brought my work sketches with me, so you get to see like the start work sketch and then how it's morphed from there so let me start off with the first one I did so uh, oh, I'm going to have to turn sideways so you can see that was the first no wait was it the first or the second I don't know that was the first one because I was practicing drawing the eyes so that was the first idea I had uh, and I was going to have her sort of holding her hair back having it draped over the arm and such it morphed into that um, as a, a again taking the original image and, and trying to work with it a bit more, uh, I then did, 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 decided I wanted to try do a slightly different pose and uh, do one from behind. Um, wasn't too happy with how that one turned out, but I liked the idea of it. So I then looked up for a few pose examples, like looking at pictures and stuff on my phone. Because I'm sure work would not appreciate me looking at some of these on the internet at work. And that was the last one that I was working on. Which I feel is something I can work with. Oh, can, can that one go on this way? I don't know. It doesn't help that my camera setup is awful. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to try and work with. Um, now, on that one, I can I know that there's parts of it that are out of proportion and stuff. But it's what I sort of decided I'm going to go for because it's I feel gives like the best pose off the lot I just need to get the proportions done right um but I can't draw butts to save my life the last one I did I had to use a photo reference for that was just a sketch reference um but I think it looks better than that one so that's what I'm going to try and work on tonight just to get stuff done uh did it did it did he Yes, producing an outfit modelled uh, by her voice actress from the Heavensfield promo tour. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> I'm tired of my brain isn't cooperating. That makes two of us. Hey! hey. <laughs> so, yes, I don't actually have any rider plushies, so, you know, you have to make do with the little chibi. Oh. don't know how old this actually is, but it's it's fairly old. Hopefully, oh, wait, no, it does. I'll, I'll put that to one side because the dust sort of shows up. Rather well, uh, you can sit there and watch me. Yeah, sit in the corner, glare at people. Um, right. Ooh, I do apologise if there's any loud noises in the background. Landlord's doing a bit of work outside. Um, on the ground floor, I'm right next to it all, so it's all kind of ugh, loud. Um, uh, I'm just checking. That music isn't coming through, is it? Because I know my headset has an annoying habit of picking up the sounds coming through the headset into the microphone. Right, 
Oh, it's only a cheap printer paper, this stuff, so I can just sketch away. Uh, right. So, what I want to try and do is make the most out of the paper that I'll have. So, first of all, I'm going to set myself a couple of guidelines. Just so I've got a rough idea of what I want. And then I'm going to want to head about blurish. Yeah, it was fun having a crack at the ideas whilst I was at work, but I've only got a half hour lunch break to have a go at them. Um, so it's that, and by the time I get to my lunch break, my brain is fried. I mean, it's bad enough as it is, but, <laughs> you know, actually having to remember to do things like, you know, get up in the morning and go to work and all this jazz, it's just like, oh. What is this? What are mornings? Why why do we have to do mornings and why do we have to do this silly thing called daylight savings time? That's the worst thing. Uh, teeth a bit milky. Oh, well. Also for extra added fun I've got this wonderful thing where a bit of my tooth has come off. So I'm like my tongue keeps rubbing against it and just like stop it. It's that thing where your tongue goes, ooh, this is new, I want to investigate it. And it keeps rubbing on it, I'm like, stop it, it doesn't hurt at the minute, but if you keep poking at it, you never know what you'll do. And of course, I don't actually have a dentist, so I'm like, well, that's me fucked. You know, unless I decide to fork out for a private one. I last time I went to a private dentist, though, he was like, oh, why, you, know, you don't turn up that often. I was like, well, it's exactly my first time seeing you. And he was like, you should go to a dentist more often. I'm like, yeah, you should lower your prices. They don't like it when you tell them that they're too expensive. Funny, that. So now that way they turn around and I'm like, well, you should go for the dental plans. And it's like, yeah, so I'll pay each month towards something that I may not need at all. But there's always the chance that I might need it. Ooh, hello, thank you very much for the follow. Hang on, I'm going to try and say this. Uh, Engabratos. Enga <laughs> Words, mouth does not want to work. Engabratos, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. At this current moment, I don't know if you caught it or not, but we're trying to draw Ryder from Fate Stay Night. Uh, dressed up like, uh, well, in the outfit that her voice actress had for the promo for the Heavensville tour. So I'm working on some sketches I'd done at work, and trying to make them a little bit better. But, you know, it's... It's one of these annoying things is because I am self-taught for an artist, I haven't been to any art schools or anything like that, I'm very critical of my own work, whereas other people would look at it and go, you know, for someone who's not done something like that, that's really good. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't like it. It needs to change. I need to sort stuff out. Um, but I've got to keep reminding myself that, you know, it's I'm going to make loads of mistakes. The only way I'm going to get better is just to draw and see what I get. Uh, and certainly I found out earlier that the Japanese release of Heaven's Hill 3 on Blu-ray has English subs. Ooh, I love it when they do that. Yes, we want all the English subs. Especially when it means we don't have to worry about waiting for it to be uh, released in the States. But yes, thank you very much for follow. Welcome to the stream. So hopefully I can provide some form of entertainment for you. And if nothing else, if you have any art tips or things like that that you see that I could do to improve, by all means, feel free to pass them forward. I am not someone who will turn around and reject art tips. 
Oh no, well, there are some artists out there, they're letting my words out, some artists out there who, they've got their set styles and they don't want to change, but I'm like, well, I can give stuff a go and try new methods. If I'm doing something that could be done a different way, I'll give it a go. Again, the bonus of being self-taught is I'm very flexible in terms of styles. Um, or ways of drawing, I should say, from the styles sort of fixed on anime. Um, but that's just because that's what I've been drawing for so long. I did, when I was younger, I actually used to try and draw uh, portraits, like proper lifelike portraits. Um, used to enjoy doing that, but I sort of fell out of doing it for a while. And I tried doing one recently, and I was like, oh my god, that looks hideous. Uh, Alright, okay, the portions of this are all out of whack. Let's try and fix that. Because, uh, hang on, I need a picture of Ryder up here. So I know she's, what I'm trying to do is I know she's got like fairly long, I won't say gangly legs, but Ryder's normally like very long leggy. Um, there's words that I could use that would probably describe her better than long leggy, but you know, it's me. I would describe it as long leggy me done there. Uh, oh, this is the folder that I haven't sorted. Brilliant. All right, all right. Oh, yep, no, it's complaining that it can't find any rider images. What do you mean you can't find rider? Oh, well, it's because it's the saving name. There we go. Right, so let's have a look at her. Hmm. One advantage to having Browse the Boar is I have quite a few of Rider. The downside is I've got quite a few of Rider to work through. But thankfully, yes, a lot of them do tend to emphasize the long legged nature of her. And you just need to try and do. Uh, also, if I remember rightly, Muse have a weird, uh, where's that post book of mine? It is over here. <coughs> he says trying to grab it without stretching his microphone cable. Alright. Oh. Borrowing this one off my old Japanese teacher. Um, but, uh, hang on, I'll put it so you can actually see... It's going to be upside down because I can't fit it close enough to the camera. Can I do it that way? I can do that, yeah. So, Steve Huston, uh, figure drawing for artists. I've been using this as a guide to help with things. And it's a fantastic book to go through. Um, so I do recommend if you are looking for books to help with anatomy and starting off how to basically start a simple drawing and work it up to uh, art this book I found to be really useful. Um, it's one of those, those, those little things where you sort of, some of the basics are in here which I never thought on and it breaks it down fairly, well I say fairly easy, I'm still learning from it, but it's what I've picked up in this has been great. Um, it's just, yeah, with my memory being as it is, I sort of pick up stuff and it's like, I learn one thing and something gold falls out the other side. But yeah, I've been using that as a guide. Um, the way that it uh, teaches you how to draw feet I found to be useful. Because I could never draw feet before. Now I can somewhat draw feet. Um, hang on, let's get to that page. Uh, right. So yeah, there's stuff like it's hard because I can't get the book any further in without know, knocking the camera off but he breaks the feet down into these blocky sections and then he starts if you will treating it as clay that he's sculpting it out of uh, and how to create the toes which I can't show because I'm going to have to do it upside down sorry but it's like how he breaks down the toes and stuff like that and then all the text explains his process for it 
and I have found it so useful because I really couldn't draw feet before and and now I'm like I can somewhat draw feet I feel like I've improved question mark um but yes yeah, so I wanted to have a look at knee because I could have sworn there's like a funky thing that happens with the knee from the side that I remember reading about So, oh, here we go. You'd have. I think I might need to trim it down to there. Whereas I've got the knee. What I've got currently here is the knee is straight, and I need it to effectively be more. Maybe not that angle, but more at an angle. Um, so where the leg bends in at the back uh, here you'd have the, the drop of the actual knee cap if you will slightly lower than that on the other side from the front um, so time to try and draw that and also not make the legs just look like planks I want to try and get them so they have some shape to them Uh, right, so do 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 do. And have I love one of the drawings that he's done for how to draw legs, and he's like, it's just a lot of ovals put together, and I'm like, yeah, okay. And again, it's one of these things you sort of read up on it, and it makes sense. But his image is basically he has ovals doing this. So it's oval, 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 and then he goes, and then all you do is you join these up, and then you get this, you know, shape of a leg, and it's got these bump, and it, it's very hard to explain, and I'm trying to cartoony it over here, but it is, he just has these ovals zigzagging down the page, and then he shows how you draw it into a leg, and it's like, that makes somewhat sense, but a lot of it he also does is he gives you... Ideally, you want like tracing paper or something like that with it, because he'll get you to look at old art or old um, statues and things like that, and sort of break them down into circles, into triangles, into squares, so that you reverse the process, so you can figure out how to then take a circle, square, triangle, and put it together to make a figure. Um, and you sort of learn from the old. Um, this is like, puts it like learn from the old masters of, of art, um, and you also pick up the do's and don'ts. It's like some of the statues that he uh, has in there, like some of the old Egyptian ones, and they're the bolt straight. Um, and then he explains that the, the posing is the, the um, costa, constapo, constapo, where you put weight on one leg and it causes the body to have this natural curve to it. Um, and again, he breaks both of them down into images so that you can look at and go, oh. Sorry, I'm probably waffling lots of contents about the, the book, but it, 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 as I said, it's been useful. Maybe not for everyone, but I've, I've found it really useful for sketching. Oops, that's a bit too, a bit too thick there. But this is only sketch paper, so I can just go nuts with it. And again, I've really fallen in love with this pencil. It's one of the best gifts I've been given. Because um, I've normally sketched with uh, mechanical pencils before. Um, hang on, let me grab what this pencil is. So this is one of these monograph uh, mechanical pencils. Uh, a Tombow. Tombow. But one, the lead in it has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it's lasted an age so far. Oh, evening, Jay. Thank you for popping in. Um, but it's also got this weird little weight thing in there, so it keeps the lead going. You know, so normally in a mechanical pencil, you get to a point where you're, you're grinding against the metal sheath, and you're like, oh, I've got to pop more lead out. This, it automatically does it as you're moving the pencil around. It's lowering the lead down. But I haven't actually used up one lot of lead in this yet, and I'm like, I 
my friend got me this and a set of refills, it's going to last me an age. But it's a very, very good sketch pencil. It's one where you can do nice, fine, gentle lines and then you can really work the darkness on later. Um, again, I'm probably waffling nonsense, so do apologize. I try and think of things to talk about whilst I do this. <laughs> this stream is just more, let's listen to Madcap talk nonsense for a while. Whilst I put the kettle on and go make something to eat. <laughs> uh, right, so that foot is going to be pointing away, so that's going to be the heel. Right, I'll have to twitch up against the stand, so there's the... I don't know why I'd give Ryder heels. I mean, she's tall enough as it is. But hey, tall ladies can't complain. Now, this is the reason why I give myself these sketch lines because I knew I was going to go over them. It sounds silly, but I, I give myself limits which are very floaty limits because I always go over them. Very weird. Um, but it's it's something I've always done when I've sketched is I've always... If I give myself a limit on the page, I always end up going over it. So I learned to bring the limit away from the edge so that when I do go over it, I've still got room to play with. But at least this way I can turn around and sort of say, well, I want it to be roughly that big. Um, uh, all right. Now, have I made the legs too big? I think I have. I think I've gone completely the wrong way in this. Ah! In the effort to try and make her legs less stick like, I think I've gone. Oh, I had a lean. Oh, nuts. It's kind of lame because I wanted it so that. It come up from there, and she's leaning back. And I did this when I did the original sketch before. I put the torso too far forward. Ah, let's take the head off. Let's. Bring it back to the body and figure out where I'm going from there. Right, so I've got triangle midsection rib cage. I want that to lean back. So I've got. Almost with the back of her neck. Another arm there. I never did decide what I was going to do with this other arm, to be honest. I'll have to figure something out. Side wrist, there's hand. That's arm. Okay, so move that. Let's bring that down to connect up to there. Uh, 
and try and neaten this up. Like I really should watch some more of the uh, VTubers I watch when they do their art streams. The problem is, is a lot of the time they tend to do it when I'm busy with something else. I'm like, I'm oh, nuts. I was like, this thing where I'd love to sort of be able to join in and want to draw, but then I've got to have everything moved off my desk just so I can sketch here. I think once I get happy with my paper sketching, I might look at getting back into digital. But for now, I want to make sure I can get stuff done on paper. Ah, <sighs> right. It's the thing I'm not good at is drawing ladies with rather exceptionally large breasts. Which, let's face it, Ryder has. Well, I suppose it depends on what art you look at, but a lot of the art that I've seen, including the little chibi, you know, it's it's not like she's uh, lacking. I suppose it's part personal preference, but I've always preferred them slightly smaller, so that's what I've always drawn. Of course, then you have the problem if you're trying to draw other people, other characters, and they don't have what you're used to drawing, you've then got to change. Now, it might look like I'm not going up to that, so I actually need to make the head smaller. I actually made it a bit too big there. But yeah, I'm trying to remember to keep that so that I've got room for the hair to come out. But yeah, my plan is sketch it up on rough paper, get the proportions and pose the way I want it, then I can worry about tracing it. Oh, is that neck too long? Bring the cheek in a bit more. I do apologise, I appreciate it. It's slightly hard for you guys to see what my eyes are seeing as I sketch this. Because I can see the fresh line that I've put down and I don't know what I want. Up to you, it's all just a scribble of pencil. I do apologise. I'll try and clean it up as I go so that you can at least have a rough idea of what I'm trying to sketch. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yep. Keep doing that, I keep putting the eyes too close together. It's something I've been going through a lot of the old art I had on my computer um, and checking online, and I've noticed you know, a lot of art that people do, they will spread the eyes out to me what is more than what should be. Um, yeah, they make it work, you know, it looks right. 
so I need to try and remember to do it so that I can actually see you know is it a trick that I've been missing all this time and I just need to do that or is it just something that they're particularly good at and I'm just best sticking with what I know because at the end of the day my style is well that it's a style of mine oops my line is completely wrong so it's not like I'm going to draw exactly the same as anybody else and that's good you know because everyone has their own style it's just a case of trying to get comfortable with what I do whilst trying to learn from others and whilst I don't really want to completely imitate others I do want to try and have it so that it that what feels like it fits in because you can get loads of different styles for people drawing anime yet a lot of them will feel that they fit that they work so they follow a few set basic things that I feel that I'm missing and this I've drawn her eyes too big I know I have I've got to try and sort it out she doesn't have big white eyes it's more <sighs> Then narrow, alluring is, I think, the word I'm looking for. So let's try that. Drawing them, that is, not trying to be alluring. I'm not good at that one. Well, evening, Seba. Thank you for popping by. Welcome to the stream. I'm just trying and flailing. Horrifically at drawing wider. Where am I going wrong? I need some more art. Uh, let's look for an official image. Okay, that's not an official image, but it is adorable. The trouble is, some of the, the images I have are just Ryder as the little. Um, I want to say Chibi Rider, but that's not it. Uh, the Babylonia version. It's just a lot of them are Chibis. So that is her sisters. Or she's wearing a blindfold and that doesn't really help when trying to look at their eyes. Ooh, that's a good image. Maybe I'm drawing the actual iris too big. I don't want to draw it too small though, because then it will look like she's just really, really surprised. Hmm. But a lot of them do have it a lot smaller than what I've been doing, so let's let's give it a whirl. I want to try and figure out so the. I'm going to need to draw this a uh, separate so. Is that eye shape? Standard. Uh, down at the bottom and meet up. This is what I've tried to be work to based on a couple of images I've looked at it before. Um, this has sort of been the. The shape that I came across in the official images. The lower eyelid wasn't all that well defined. Uh, for the eye highlights, I've just chosen a position as such. Square off the pupil. And that's dark, that's somewhat dark, that's the light, that's the pupil. Right. So. 
very thin eyebrows, but long. Okay, trust the face, start again. Right, we'll do that as the middle. Got the nose. Got your nose. Because a lot of things that look as well, she's got a very tall head compared. Which is where else I'm going wrong. I think I'm drawing the head too big, and then I'm like, no, it actually sort of fits. Ish. He says. Right, so let's work on this eye, because I can worry about the other one. In a second. Curve the top a bit, it looks more like she's looking down, which is what she would be doing. Go from there, say that's. No, because now it looks really weird. Okay. Let's try to sit on that. Mm. I'm having no luck with that. Mm. Really, I'm struggling tonight. Let's leave that there as that is for a second and let us. So that would be where the tattoo is. Now, I suppose the big question is do I give her glasses so that she doesn't have the tattoo and therefore doesn't have the um, you know, whole Medusa effect, or do I just say stuff it and leave her without glasses and pop the tattoo on and hope no one turns to stone looking at the image? Oh. Sorry, tea break. Much needed. I will say, going back to work has been kind of good, but at the same time, my god, has it hit me hard. But I've got a return to work me in catch up thing tomorrow. I'm going to have a chat with my manager and be like, yeah, maybe we went on to almost full hours too fast because my brain is still mush. Um, I think it's just struggling to to deal with things, even though I'm doing a, a simplistic task. It's suddenly having to do this, despite having been off work for several months. And now it's going... Rah, rah. It's the best way of describing my brain at the minute is that noise. Uh, right, so... Keeping it to the let's because how it actually connects down to the ears is hidden by the hair anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. I just need to figure out where that's going to be. Um, what did I do with this? What was my plan? 
Oh, that was it, yes. So she's just turned... Effectively, it's like she's just turned her head. So... This bang I was thinking of having almost caught over the shoulder. So it would come down past the eye, curve, and go back over the shoulder. Would that actually, yeah, and then that would just then fall. Whereas this was going to, because she has like really, really, really long hair. I'm gonna go down to um, and then that would come down. So I'm not sure if I want to have the bang like that going over, or whether I just have that coming down as well. So it's if you will, as she's turned her head, the bangs drifted and pulled over the shoulder. Um, might actually look better like that, being honest. Let's just sketch, sketch some lines. And then her main hair will come down to a teardrop point at the back. So let's... Oh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure whether I like the idea of this to be draped over there and then it sort of drip down. It'd end about there. But it come down and curve and go there, where that one would go straight down. Or whether to say that it's she's turned her head and she's then moved her arm to flick the hair to one side. Uh, would be natural movement of the hair shot turn. Uh, okay, is that sorry? We have to be a bit clearer because I've not been keeping up with the chat as I've been sketching. So you're saying. What to keep it with the drape over the shoulder? Wait for the good old lag of Twitch to catch up. Uh, don't forget that a hair doesn't have to behave naturally, it's magical and semi sentient. Yeah, yeah, that is a good point. It is Ryder. I suppose, yeah. I suppose I'm thinking too hard about it, and her shoulder wouldn't stick out that. Her shoulder wouldn't stick out that much, would it? So, in fact, it wouldn't even go that far down. I could do that. That would bring it down to about there, but that would then mean the hair comes up around gently instead of it draping over, which I think was where I was going wrong. I was treating it more like a bloody set of curtain drapes. And the hair at the back would technically then put the cover over the arm, wouldn't it? And we've got to get burning gear. Eh. 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 
with me, Minicha. Uh, shows the sequence in her tracks where her shoe or helps her wash her hair with magic shampoo and it starts snugging. <laughs> okay, I've 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 gotta yeah, I've gotta read up on that one. That sounds hilarious. Oh, all me get my words out again. All it's made me think of is the uh, rider stealing meals. Um, but that's something completely different. Um, but yeah, so her, her there. I'm thinking if you have her neck, then you could have the her draping down. And. So it would block off that part of the arm. That part of the leg. You can still see that. What did I say? That part of the leg. I'm going to put the brakes in for the hair. And would you see? No, because you won't see that. So you'd only have this front portion of hair. That's always a weird thing I'm trying to draw. I've seen numerous ways of drawing this hair, how she has it. And I thought, well, you had weird hair. <laughs> and I feel like Swinton and Jason might be the last outstanding um, of girls in the army. Wait, they've not got Swimsuit Medusa in Grand Order. Despite the fact that she already exists like that. I do believe I speak for all of us when I say, what the hell, go? Where is that little menace? completely misread that one when you said we need Tia Mummy, I read it as bloody Tama Mummy. I'm like, well we already got her. I was like, oh wait, no, Tia Mummy, gotcha. And I was just happy I managed to have pretty much all of Ryder. I had Ryder, I had sisters, I had Gorgon. <laughs> Some snake rider, me. The snake that you probably don't want to boop, but you boop it anyway. Right. I don't worry, but this is the part I like about sketching where I go over the lines and just press that a little bit harder to get the line to drop out. And you start. To me, it feels like I'm finally bringing the image a bit more to life. I'm sort of saying, yes, I want that line there. Because what I want to do next is get rid of any of the lines I don't want, and then I can concentrate about the top of the actual clothing, I should say. Because so far, all I've drawn here is a Barbie doll. An almost naked version. Well, technically naked because she's not wearing anything apart. Unless she's wearing a bodysuit because she's got high heels on. But either way, you can't see anything. So, Twitch, you're okay. Yeah, I never got, you know, Lucha Mama. 
the six of the attack on the six of the call. Probably never got her because I could never say her bloody name. It's one of those things where I try and say the name and I'm going to end up summoning someone as well. So that's uh, drop that knee off a bit because that knee's got to face forward more. So you might see that. I don't know that would be more there, but you're probably not going to see that. I just want to line it in just to be on the safe side because this hair is going to be. I want to try and think long and flowy. So let's clean up some of these lines so you guys can see a bit more of what we've got to work with. Oh, what does it work as well? Thanks for the job they've got me doing at the minute, it means I can actually listen to music. I actually found out that I was wrong, they do technically have Become As Gods on the OST, it's just not labelled as that because it doesn't have the chant. Uh, I don't know if Battletech is 75% off. Ooh, no, I've got the game, but I don't have like any of the DLCs if they released it, I don't know if they're on sale or not. Not anything, and I do have to check what I have left over. Uh, but yeah, I did get the game. It's one of those I probably should try and play again. Maybe do it on stream. Unless you're not big stumpy necks. The only thing is, is there's no mad cats. I'm disappointed. Don't have the DLCs while I listed it. Yeah, that's fine. I said it is good. I have played it. But it's one of those where I started playing it and then something else cropped up and I was like ooh shiny and I went off and played that and then I completely forgot it was a bit like Death Stranding I need to pick that up uh, well I say that I then realised that my game is now gone because yeah I had another hard drive grab well I had two actually uh, I managed to get one of them to work long enough to take files off which I was kind of glad of because that was the one which had near on it um, I'm not sure if it's saving my progress to the cloud or not but I've managed to copy that onto another drive the other one yeah that's gone which was annoying when my friend um, Caron asked me hey do you want to join in on Sea of Thieves because there's a big update for Cyberpunk so I'm doing Cyberpunk I was like yeah sure no problems I'll just make sure Sea of Thieves is updated it, it wasn't because it wasn't installed because that drive died I was like oh fudge so I had to re-download that one but yeah, they were old drives, I'll give it that. But yeah, they died. I was like, oh, I don't need this. Why, why is every hard drive dying at the same time? <laughs> but yeah. Mad Cat. Jaguar Mad Cat. Yep. Taken out by a raven. Oh, the 
shame. The shame. We all know that Mad Cat would have looked at that raven and the raven would have exploded. Um, but anyway, you know, cinematics aside. It was one of those cinematics that I could happily watch time and time again. Every time I booted up, you know, like loaded the game up for the you know, reinstalled and stuff like that, I'd watch that cinematic. That and Red Alert. I mean, I still get it now when I, uh, I got the remastered Red Alert, and I sat down and watched the um, cinematic again, and I got goosebumps. Um, and it, it took me back to oh, I was bloody hell, I was in secondary school when I, you know, this was going back to the days that they actually had games on discs, you know, for the youngsters out there. Um, and Command and Conquer uh, Red Alert came with two discs, the Soviet disc and the uh, Allied disc. And I borrowed the Soviet disc off my friend so I could play that. And it was watching that cinematic for the first time and the music kicking in and everything. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Watching the remastered version and having that happen again, I was just like, this is... It, it just sent goosebumps down and I was just like, oh, I feel young again. Oh, my spine and all that jazz. Um... But yes, it, it it's one of those intros that I could just sit down and watch, and was happy watching it. Um, <laughs> Ravens are pesky by the others. Yes, well, I don't know about pesky, but they're certainly you know annoying mostly when you get them on your side. Um, but yes, hello Hexy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping by. Uh, to be fair, it took a beating from the opening volleys and then Maria created the Centurion and fire source by the Raven and did, you know, and a crippled rear armor. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. The, the Mad Cat was, you know, dinged, and he probably had a beginner pilot or something like that. That's why he ejected early. But e even so, we all know that the Mad Cat would have just quite happily have not bothered with the Raven. You know, the Raven was tickling its back, and the Mad Cat would have just been like, Pfft. to me, it, it, it's the kind of thing where an experienced pilot would have done a threat analysis and gone, that Raven isn't too big of a threat. Okay, shooting at my rear armor. But if I turn around and shoot it, um, putting my rear armor towards other stuff, or if I... Eh, the guy could have got out of there, I'm sure, but... Eh. As if one runs an MG Beast and Tabletop can tell you, floating crits are hilarious. Eh. And my cat being the iconic mech warrior mech. Yep. I used to have, and I don't know what happened to it, but I used to have um, from, I think it was a Mech Warrior. It was a Mech Warrior, or the second Mech Commitment. I can't remember which one it was, but I got like an official t shirt with it which had the the standard Mech, uh, Mad Cat logo on it. And by God, I wore the hell out of that t shirt, and I don't know what happened to it because it's the kind of thing I probably wouldn't fit in it now, but I sure as hell would put it up on the wall. It could go next to my uh, blueprints. But you know, I think it's one of those things where, you know, like my parents are like, oh, it's too small for him, we'll throw it out. It's like, no! Or it was one of the shirts that got eaten by a washing machine. We did have a problem at once where one of the washing machine as it died started ripping shirts. And I remember I had a fake stand out shirt with Saber on it, and it just tore that open. Um, bit annoyed at that one, because it cost a hell of a lot to get that one from Japan. Um, so yeah, it could have been a victim to that. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just finishing off the tea before it gets too cold. Well, I'll say too cold, it's never too cold, it's just preferred one tea. And one of these people, if it's a cold cup of tea and someone goes up and is like, Do you want a fresh cup of tea? I'll just neck the cold one there. Yes, please. And then they just stir it and like, you just drank an entire cup of cold tea. What kind of monster are you? And I'm just like, he he. Let's try and make this hair look a bit more. Hair, hair, hair. 
hair like. I was chatting to one of my other friends I was saying about the idea of trying to do like a, a VTuber thing. And I mentioned the idea of doing it with a posh British, like, posh British accent just because people might be able to understand what I say. But then the idea of, you know, like a VTuber with a thick Lancashire accent blathering away could be kind of entertaining. Chin the stream, hey up. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. The problem is, if I do something like that, I'd still want to do art like this, but then you're supposed to like wear gloves and everything, and I'm just like, nah, I couldn't do that. I can't really draw with gloves on. I've got mittens for when I'm using stuff, so like fingerless ones. Not a problem, because my fingers are still there. That's what I need, the fingers. The rest of it don't really mind too much, but it's if I have to wear like a full set of gloves, I just can't do it. Uh, he says, and then he goes looking for a pair of gloves. This is the other downside to me, being an airsofter, I have gloves. So, how many pairs of gloves have you got? Yes. But yeah, something like that, despite the fact that they're designed for, you know, like being touchy feely and stuff like that, it, uh, yeah. yeah. It's really weird to draw. Plus, actually having the armor piece there doesn't help because I keep trying to put my hand in a comfortable position and like, pencil doesn't reach paper! But really comfortable gloves. I remember actually looking for a set of gloves that I remember seeing yonks ago. I've never found them since, but they were kind of like the armoured ones without the knuckle armour. But they had a thing where you could actually poke your finger out. Uh, what happened to my murder gloves? Sorry, I mean my old armoured gloves. I call them murder gloves because they're all black. It's all my Nomex flying ones. This is now suddenly a hunt the glove stream. That's my other Nomex flying ones. That's. Oh! I found one, but it's for the other side. It's a left hand. Where the hell's the right hand one get to? I need to sort that drawer out. Oh, I got it out already. <laughs> Yes, my murder gloves. Yeah. But again, they're kind of comfortable, but they've got padding there. So again, my hand rests weird, but it's kind of think if I had to wear gloves to do it, yes, I could, but I'd probably have to wear the either these or the Normex ones just to try and draw. But I was tempted with these to try and cut the stitching. Um, I said to replicate these are the gloves I saw, where you could then essentially what you had to do was pull the finger back and then you could slide it out and then you'd have a fingerless glove but then you could put your finger back inside so it either wouldn't get cold or wouldn't get shot let's try with a Nomex glove with velcro stuck to it because I was mucking around getting more patch stuff done oh. actually that's not too bad But yeah, I have this thing, I like gloves. So I have like different sets of gloves for different loadouts that I go for. Weird, I know, but yeah. I'm an airsofter. I'm gonna have more than one set, you know, one set of things to wear. Every professional airsofter out there now suddenly goes, no, I only have one set. I don't need more than one. like on one of the uh, Facebook pages I'm on, someone was like, post up your guns, and people were posting up, you know, like, the stuff, and a lot of them were extensive collections, uh, put mine to shame, 
And this one guy posts up his, he's got an M4 and a Bratty Knight too. And he's like, this is all I need. You don't need more than one. You know, I've got my main and my sidearm and that's it. I'm like, okay. Elite much? One second. Oh, hey, look, you've got an M4. How original. As I said to one guy I was chatting to about it, because he asked, you know, why do I have so many? I was like, well, I like the idea of taking more than one to a game. Not necessarily for me to use, but for other people to have a go with. Even if it's just a, you know, there's a target at the safe, just outside the safe zone, and you can go plink at it. And let people try things that aren't M4s or AKs. Or at least, you know, that aren't M4s. Hell, seeing someone with an AK is getting a bit rough. God, when I first started, quite a while back, um, the Tokyo Murray G36 was just being announced. So, you know, you can start aging them from that. Um, and it's... When it first came out, I, I was looking at it like it looked, well, at the time it looked futuristic. Um, and someone ended up getting one at our local site. And rather than being like, you know, hey, look at me, I've just got this, he was like, who wants to have a go with it? I was also really thankful for the first game we played. Uh, first ever skirmisher played, so I should say. Um, the sight higher guns were either a FAMAS or an MP5. And I was like, I'll have the MP5, please. I did try the FAMAS. Because, you know, bullpups are kind of cool. I still think that, even though, you know, you can argue both ways. But I grabbed hold of the FAMAS and held it, you know, put my wrist like this to hold behind the trigger and caught the mic release with my wrist there, and drop the lag out. And I was like, I don't like that. So I tried the MP5, held it, and I was like, this just feels right. It was comfortable, it worked, everything was where you'd expect it to be to make sense, and stuff like that. So that's when I realised, yeah, I like MP5s. And from there it just got worse, because it was MP5s, G3s, Yeah, welcome to my art stream. Discuss airsoft. Mind you, I know you guys probably don't give a hoot about that. Um, oh, good, good evening. Thank you all for joining. <laughs> I almost said morning then, clearly not with it. But it's morning somewhere. It's morning somewhere. It did take a brief second to figure out who it is, but yes, yes. Hello, welcome to the stream. I see you've changed your uh, stream name. All things geek girl. Yep, that's looking good. Just don't ask me to say it fast. Otherwise, I'm likely to make you a Greek person. All things Greek girl. Wait, no, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, you need your glasses, folks. Uh, the real sense to get a couple of donor AKs to make some of the D2 AK dragon. Ooh, that'd be fun to see. Now say it fast, okay. All things geek girl. Aha, I can cheat, I can just miss out the E E K and <laughs> just got all things geek girl. Best thing about Lancashire accent is I can just say I'm saying it right. Uh showed you one that's basically an AK and a machine pistol out, didn't I? Wait, yes, I remember that one now. Ish. Brain does catch up with me. Yes, I remember seeing that one. Uh, I say glasses or shoes and casual. True, yeah. And yes, I would say blindfold as well, but you know. 
I didn't spend all this time trying to figure out how to draw eyes just to cover them in a blindfold, darn it. Um, actually, let's have a gander, because I'm thinking... Is what she wore in the context of the promotional tour true? And I'm wondering... Because she'd have... Let's see. So I know that in the image of you, and she's got what looks to be like a black short sleeve top underneath a t-shirt, perhaps. So that would be... Uh, and then the actual top is like a waistcoat by the looks of things. So, we'd have a bit there, uh, you'd probably get some stretch lines for a rider. And waistcoat would go the end about there -ish. It's been a while since I've had a waistcoat. Don't they normally have like a little, like a, um, a tie ribbon at the back about here, which just goes across and you can tighten it up? I think they have, uh, good point is her glasses have minimal frame. Yes, a lot of the images I've seen, they, they've got away with drawing her glasses essentially being um, the bridge of the nose and then the frames that very awkward, but yeah, the frames are like that. You know, darken the frame up a bit and then draw a very faint line for the actual glass, if at all. Um, some of them don't even bother with that. But yes, I was going to give her a minimal frame-esque look. So let's put the waistcoat there. Put that there for now, because I'm sure that the waistcoat has that. It could just be me, the only waistcoat I've ever had, have that one in, so now I'm thinking that's what all waistcoats have. Put a couple of creases in, because she's turning the back. Now, when I originally envisioned this, I was thinking it was going to be leggings, like skin tight. But... Looking at some of the casual stuff I've got, there is the option of a skirt. And then what I do is turn these into um, heels. High heels, still have to wear thingies. Rather than boots, which is the other thing I was going for. And then just narrow that down to more of a stiletto esque. I think I might go with a skirt. Looking at it, just sketching the rough idea in, I like the idea of that. It also means I don't have to worry too much about how the arse looks. Because I can just. Maybe not that many creases. So, we'd have a look around there. Let's just do that. that. We'd have that crease there. Put one crease on that side, that'll do. Get rid of that awkward thing else having of how the hell do I draw her ass? Don't worry, it's not something I'm good at drawing. Oh, not, and then let's redraw this. Uh, being used on the chances of ankle or knee habits. That was what I was originally going with. So, but would.
would you wear? Would you wear boots with short skirt? Because one image I've got of Ryder here, she's it's almost like a sec secretary version. And that was sort of like what I was thinking of with the skirt and that. Or I could go with the boots and do boots about yay high. But I'm thinking if I'm doing boots, let's just try and... I don't think they'd be as high as what I've got currently. Um, to be honest, if I imagine you standing in boots, I don't imagine them having that much of a heel to them. <laughs> it's a shame she's not streaming right now. <laughs> you stand, what kind of boots do you wear? <laughs> Strangest questions ever asked to a streamer. I'm not sure what I want right now. Whether I want to give her boots for the skirt, or whether I just want to give it as bare-legged and... Uh... <laughs> not seen it, yeah. Yeah. It probably would be over the knee boots, but would that go with a mini skirt? Roland, can you do us a favour and get a second opinion from the missus and see what she'd think? Because she probably does more fashion thing than I ever would, so she'd be able to just turn around and go this. Check Discord. Okay, okay. Almost momentous. Discordio. Come on, Discord. Oh. Yep, there we go. Eventually it's looting. Oh, uh, Firefox, stop being stupid. There we go. It just came up saying Firefox is in use and cannot be. I was like, so no. Um. <laughs> Here's me. I don't think, you know, knee high boots would work. And, uh, yeah, no, she's proving me wrong there. Right, fine. Ooh, they are awesome boots. Can I get a larger image of that? One second. Again, doesn't help that this screen is loading it up on. It's the one where I've got my trap right in front of me, so I can't see smeg. Uh, it's not necessarily larger, but it'll do. Save to photo reference. Go! Oh yeah, there's another decent shot over there as well. Let's grab that one. Yes, that is a stunning find there. Thank you very much. Loaded up a new picture view, uh, picture view air. Oh, they are some really chunky boots. I love that. And she's wearing shorts. I thought it was a skirt originally. Mm. Do I go with shorts then? I think shorts could be the option here. Uh, let me just quickly erase that. <laughs> so 
slow down the Instagram feed for a moment. Yeah, no worries, I'll do the same. You know, I'm thinking, yeah, she's worn that before, I'm gonna go with the shorts. Time to put her ass back. I never remember how I drew her ass. No, that's gonna make too much difference, but it's just more to get somewhat the shape there. And then, yeah, it's over the knee. It's going to be a mix of the two costumes because she's not wearing the gorgeous snake skin thing that she has, but eh, close enough for government work and all that jazz. So that comes down, so. That still would. Hang on now. If I'm going wrong, that foot should be side on. Let's just get rid of some of that stuff so I can concentrate on the side on nature of that foot. That comes to there. A lot of creases on it. I'm going to have to fill in in a second. But for now, I want to. I've got a friend at work who'd absolutely love those boots. Now is it me, or are those boots got like a snakeskin pattern to them? So if you scroll through the, the Instagram images, to the one where she's with, I'm presuming it's Sakura's VA. They look like the snakeskin boots. It's a black micro dress, I think the same boots. Pretty sure there's something that has those boots or something very similar. Awesome. I just love the chunkiness of the heel. And that, I believe, goes around a bit. I'll do that. Let's delete that line because that's no longer required as we've got boot there. Then, for this part of the front, it's a loose fabric, so I need to start adding. A few creases in on it. Yeah, although that was part of the reason why I streamed a bit late, I was just very, I had to de-stress on that. Um, not just because of obviously the, the fact that it, it's meant that use and it's not going to do international stuff, but just the, the incident itself was just, it worked the wrong way. Um, and yeah, uh, it's... I have to keep reminding myself that yes, it's it was horrendous, but I can't 
can't let it get to me because I can't do anything about it. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, I can only hope that, obviously, help is given to the, the lady well after the, the event. And those assholes who just stood in the foyer also dragged through the courts. But, you know, won't get into that in too much. I don't want to. Don't want to cloud the lady in. Um, I said at the minute I've got to try and just keep to things that I can change and deal with myself. Um, which is really irritating in a way because it sounds like I don't care about things and it's kind of wrong. I do. I promise I tend to care too much and then it, it eats me. I get, I get very engaged in things. And then I can't change anything, I get all upset, annoyed, and then I do stupid things. So, uh, you know, best, best not be doing that. So. I can only hope that, you know, she decides to stuff it, I'm not going to the US, but hey, England could be alright. Not that I expect much better here, but you know, we can only hope. Only hope. Yeah, and always, it's, it's not your. Oh, I mean, I did ask what the, the situation was, and. Yeah, the situation is shit. Um, but. So I just try and think on the positive well and it's nothing we can we don't have a control over it so we really shouldn't let it worry us all we can do is do our best to try and you know keep our heads up and hope that she might decide to do international events just not in the US but even if she turns around and says no I'm not comfortable travelling anywhere it's understandable um, the other reasons go to Japan, yes. Uh, we're gonna push into the events I'm responsible for to be able to handle all this and stream plus virtual appearances. Ooh, yes! That's another way around it, yes. And that will be kinda cool. Uh, at least it also then relieves the pressure, the exception of having to be up at stupid o'clock, but you know, it's just a case of timing. You can get it at a time where it's not too crazy in the evening for them. And I want to do my uh, gaming with my friend in Japan. We usually tend to do it in the mid-morning early afternoon kind of thing. You know what, I'm thinking of just making these really tight shorts. Of course, doing that just reminds me of the other day I was... Funnily enough, after drawing one of these images now, I was thinking about you know, how the hell do I draw asses and stuff like that, and this woman was picking her kids up from school, and holy hell, she had a pair of tight black trousers on that I swear she could have just painted a body black and I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. And I was like, your ass is eating those trousers. Your ass is... Your ass, your ass, your ass. Well, concentrate on the road, my cat. You're cycling. Um, I'm wondering if I just make that into one. Well, because I've got it split at the minute. I don't think that's very rider like. That's. And then let's get rid of that. Ah, that's looking better. Yeah. Well, 
Well, I guess I want would be uh, on until late night. One of them <laughs> alive. Mister Excelvis Thirty Eight is still going. Kaho. It sounds kind of daft to all, but if it's possible to get like guests on like a virtual thing, it'd be awesome to try and do some of the um, VTubers. Imagine having Cali. I mean, I know we're kind of like really going for the top here, <laughs> but I'm just like, that'd be kind of awesome. <laughs> hey guys, look who we've managed to get. <laughs> So sit down, bloody glasses. I'm very worried about taking the line over the eyes. Mm. It doesn't help that a lot of the art I look at to see how people cope with that, they just hide it under the hair. I thought also occurred that Amichan. Oh, yeah, that is another idea. I mean, in a way, they sort of had that. I remember on Amicon, where it was in the masquerade, they had uh, Amichan um, like introducing people and stuff, and she was like an animated avatar. You know, okay, it was Monica doing the voice, but you know, hey, uh, we're gonna complain. I can't remember which um, I mean it was where she, uh, Monica came in, I mean she was pretty much like a regular fixture at this point, but she had some others with her. And of course Monica knew that the rules in the UK are a lot different and she was one of the other the other VAs who was there came up and they were saying stuff on the, the mic and they almost said retarded and they, they cut themselves off and Monica's like, It's okay, you can say the R word here. Brilliant! And they all were just like, let's all get retarded! <laughs> oh yeah, that was such a, that was a fun con, that. Because it was also the time I did, uh, yeah, it was Brad, because he then was like, I want to meet every one of you, and he jumped off the stage and started shaking people's hands, and he's like, there's too many of you to do this with, but I want to meet every one of you. Um... But yeah, that was a fantastic year. And it was the year I did Lucchini. And I completely forgot about that when I went to get my Skeletrix car signed. Because I'd done the Lumiere Skeletrix Itasha. And poor Monica. Uh, I got to get it signed and she sat at the desk and she looks up. And of course the first thing she sees is fucking Shima Pan Crotch. <laughs> Why she never came back? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oops. So I think if I remember right, it was the year before that we just had Carrie Walgren, I think it was. And I'd taken my big 
really big Saruya figure with me to get it signed. And I was gophering on the dealer's room door at the time, and I was waiting for my cover to come down. And they came down a bit late, and they mentioned the sign. I was like, oh, I was going to go to the signing. And I ran full pelt up to the signing room to get there, and the queue was gone. Everything was gone. I got in there, and they were packing up. I was like, nuts. And Carrie was just chatting to a gopher on her way out, and she saw me coming in with this big figure, and she was like, you know, come on in. You know, I can sign. Uh, it might be over. But she, and I was just like, I'm so sorry. I was stuck on the dealer's room door, gophering. And she was like, no worries. And she said, what is it you need to sign? And I pulled up the... the figure in full and she just went oh that's big <laughs> like you've never seen one of these and it's like no but yeah the big one in four scale through your bunny girl so i got that signed for her that was awesome and then monica signed a lot of stuff from my um moon phase art book and it came with like a lot of postcards inside so she signed several of those But yeah, the first year I met Monica and got her to sign something was when I did the image of Lumiere as a chibi drunk with its just grape juice. But the rest of my drinks collection, I got apple juice and rice juice and uh, potato juice. And then I asked if she could say it on camera and she did and it was bloody hilarious. Yeah, tis a shame. Probably stories like how Monica signed the drunk guy. It was his fault, he didn't like dubs. Why turn up to a session about, you know, dubs and everything if you don't like them? So I can figure out what's what, so... Uh, from what I recall, it's going to be the front portion of that, which is... Snake. Won't be hidden by that, so I can get these down there. I'm going to have to figure out how to draw a snake pattern, that's going to be the fun one. It's just like... So that or at least draw where it's going to get highlighted as snake. But I'll need to do it for that and the boots. But I would say that I do... And I finally managed to do one of the, the tricks where it's, you know, hide the hand behind the hair. Oh, hello, Panana. Welcome to the stream. Grabs a handful of plushies, goes back to the usual corner. You cannot have all my plushies. Look into my eyes. Ah, hello, Mizuno. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping by. Yes. Doing a bit of the... Uh, Rider cosplay, I guess? Would you say? Dressing Rider up in used clothes. But I would say that would do for it. I just need to figure out this hand. I need to get that better. It needs to look more like it's resting. So, uh, should I put my... This is where I always tend to put my hand on to get an idea of what I want. But then I remember that my joints are weird, so I'm probably not the best person to do that. 
if I do, but I'm sort of resting. When it comes down to there, this would be there. It has And there, some would come underneath, and then I've got mm. it seems I'm sort of regretting trying to do this. Then it doesn't look like our hands on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look like that either. Oh, for crying out loud. Maybe I need to put the wrist further back. So we should have hands come out to about over there. And then we'd have the fingers curving around the body. But that still doesn't look right. <laughs> Uh, oh. Okay, well, let's try and figure out the arm a bit more. So I've got an elbow down there. So then we would have. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm drawing up the wrong side. Could be more. Like that, I think. How, do I, how does one detach one's head to look at the side of their own body? I'm sure there's a way of doing it. I've seen it in movies. That's more of what I'm after. Right. Okay, apart from the very sausage-esque fingers there, I've got an idea that that might be a better option. I don't know. I don't know what she's going to have her, her hand would go the other way, wouldn't it? That would be pilchered. It's only problem, the original pose sketch that I had was, you know, the hands on it were, well, that. They were just boxes. And now I'm like, how the smeg would fingers and arms work? Um... I 
scratch and rough sketch on the side to try and figure out the finger is based on how my hand looks. <laughs> Which doesn't really work when you're trying to twist yourself to weird positions. So would you actually see, I think, yeah, it would be... It's not, no, it's not bent that far. No, it's not even bent like that, so I could just snap the... More like that. And then the thumb is. Was absent because it's actually sort of curled up underneath, resting on the hip. Hands are weird. Okay, let's try that. So that I just basically moved the hair in front of a hand and but uh Hey guys, I've managed to hide all the hands. Mm -hmm. I think the sun would be more there. Nope, now I'm bending the fingers the wrong way just to fit them in. Alright, uh, don't focus. Don't know whether that looks any decent to you guys. Mm. 
I'm just trying to figure out how it would look. I think that's probably about the best I could get it. I picked a really awkward pause for that hand. I should have done something better with it, but uh It'll do, it'll do. Right, what I'll have to do is tackle putting that onto marker paper to trace over it. Which I'll probably end up doing uh, Friday, because I'm off Friday. I'm so glad one of my work colleagues told me it's a bank holiday on Friday. Otherwise I'd have gone to work. Because I didn't know it was a bank holiday. I'm like, oh, so I'm not actually in work on Friday. Or Monday. I'm like, ooh. Friday, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I'm just going to get through tomorrow. And then I can tackle some stuff here. So this is probably going to be one of them. I'll do this, sketch this up. Uh, I've still got to finish that low U one. Um, I had an idea after drawing it of just basically I didn't like the way that the face had turned out on the copy I did because you know me so I was thinking of just sketching it again from new but a uh, portrait on but make it big on the paper uh, rather than trying to do a landscape and fit everything in just make it big and then do the landscape as a the background as a separate piece um, does mean that as something in my folder it would look a bit weird just having her, the image of her and then the background and behind but it does mean I can then trim around and digitally add her to it um, but that's something I can sort of muck around with and I need to try and track down some more of them folders um, I need to see if work actually have them I'm sure that's where I ended up with it from but oh they're just oh oh fuck I just throw my phone on the other end of the no that's gonna be a fun thing to get hold of but yeah they're just a simple little folder like this and then all I've done is this has been an interesting one to show people the nebula because the amount of people who come up with different ideas of what they think it is, it's, I've actually found it kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I've got it so that you've got the original pencil art and then what I've coloured. And now my phone's going off to let me know that the shop needs doing, and it's currently the back end of my chest of drawers. Woot! Best close that one, just because I realised what that one was, and then I'm like, oh, I'm still on Twitch. Um... But yes, I'll see if I can get hold of another one of them from the local stationery supply shop. Um, or work, depending on if they still have them there. They were getting rid of a lot of photos, which is where I think I ended up with that one. But I shall call it there for now. Um, and hope that that phone doesn't get too loud. Uh, hiding the best from his all. Uh, well, sort of. You've seen it. Um, and it's not that drastic. It's only a bit of side brew, but you know. Twitch will panic because it's a lot of skin tone on there. But, oh my god! We're a Christian stream! Like, yeah, no, I'm not. Um, anyway, I'll call it there. Um, I honestly thought though, that Nebula was an island map for a fantasy setting. Yep, I've had lots of different things that people have thought it was. Um, and it's kind of interesting hearing what people think it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it, it was. I'm kind of glad I did it. Even if not many people look at it and go, oh, that's a nebula in space. They at least look at it and go, I thought it was this. And it's you know, just nice to hear what people say. But yeah, thank you all for turning up and watching. Um, and your help with all of this. It's, you know, input and stuff like this. I kind of appreciate that I don't get at work because I'm at work. Um, but at least I've managed to nail this down a lot more. Just now need to line it, colour it. And then, uh, yeah, I might see if I can figure out how to tag people in Instagram. And, uh, yes, I'll probably send it to youth on that way. Um, right, I'll next be streaming on Friday, which will be my Neo stream. We shall continue with 9S. Uh, I forgot what we're doing, because it's you know, been less than a week, but my brain can't remember that much. Um, but we'll continue where we left off and carry on with that um, and then on Saturday there'll be more online co-op shenanigans uh, no idea what that'll be at the 
current moment because we never decide that until about 10 minutes beforehand um maybe some more deep rock um might do some payday we'll see what's around we'll, we'll, we'll just decide um the sorry best save the times even though i think everyone watching already knows the times uh seven o'clock is for my weekday streams uh just keep them all in line um i may look to do a monday one just to do some more art during the week um but yeah that's something i'll come along to uh, another point um my saturday stream is at nine o'clock or just after uh just so i can get a chance to do all the chores i got to do here first um and i thank you all for watching i hope you'll have an enjoyable rest of the evening slash morning depending on when or where you're watching this and i do hope to see you all on the next stream toodles